Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, finally. Um, so happy to be back here. <laughs> uh, it's Setsuna time again. Sorry about the um, very inconsistent um, uploading lately with this and uh, Resident Evil. Although I will say that Majora's Mask has been um, very consistent. And that is because of Rachel. <laughs> because she's like, we have to record Majora's Mask. So yeah, my apologies for not having this up sooner. It's... I've just fallen off the bandwagon here. I need to get back. Um, you know, I need to get going. So my plan is, uh, as of the recording of this, it is um, two. Well, technically Wednesday morning, but uh, I plan on recording a surplus of uh, videos tomorrow, um, as in the day this is published, of both um, this and Resident Evil. So we'll see what happens. Humans! Hey, don't be scared, it's me. You're that girl from before. That's right, I'm glad you remembered me. Uh, before, I'm just gonna interrupt this. I just want to say, last time, we met this boy. We saved him, found out he was a monster, and then, freaking, what's her name, um, Julianne was trying to, uh, basically saying that he needed to die, so... Yeah, we're trying to save him here. I'm glad I got to see you again one last time. I'm gonna go kill that woman before she comes to kill me. No, you mustn't do that. You mustn't kill anyone. You're a gentle boy. I know you are. But Mom's gone. I'm scared. What am I supposed to do? Live. You need to live here and live on. I don't. I can't remember what Kerr's voice is. What good would that do? Well, you met me, right? If you keep on living, you're sure to meet other people, too. That's how lives become linked to one another. I don't get it. One day you will. All you need to do is keep living. Alright, I'll try. I'll try living, like you say. I feel like I can trust you. But why are you being so kind to me? I'm on a journey to try and make sure there's a future for everyone. I want that future to include you. Thank you. Alright, I'll do my best. It's a promise. Yeah, it's a promise. Alright, I promise. Hmm, interesting. Is Julianne gonna throw, show up and fuck everything up? Goodbye! Good luck. I hope he'll be alright. I'll say he'll be fine. Humans and monsters can't uh, coexist. I'm glad to hear you say that. I think so too. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I believe in him, in his future. I want things to change, no matter how long that might take. This land, this way of life, the relationship between humans and monsters. Come on, let's go back. If we hang around here too long, Julianne will get suspicious, right? Ah, don't worry about her. One blast of my magic and she'll be sorry she ever messed with us. Yes, yes, all right. Um, oh, it was like an English accent. Do I hear my name? What are you doing here? Taking a stroll. <laughs> I like that one. In a dangerous place such as this? Well, what are you doing here? There is someone I'm looking for. Hmm. Anyway, you head back to the village. My people are about to hold a banquet in your honor. I hope you shall accept their gratitude. Uh, I'm gonna say thanks for the offer, but... Your feigned politeness shall only waste time. Hurry up and return to my village. This ain't how most people would talk to people they were throwing a banquet for. Come on, let's go. Oh, fuck. Whoa! Took her right out. Oh, man. That spear of her is pretty great. Damn, she took that thing out in one clean hit. Guess she ain't all, out, all talk after all. What was it you said again? One blast of your magic and she... <laughs> Kerr. Alright, we better protect ourselves. Setsuna. 
Are you trying to get eaten? He's right, Satsuna. Not all monsters are harmless like that boy. You need to accept that some of them can be reasoned with and some of them can't. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for worrying you. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember last time I uh, fucking realized that I had no, like, money to, like, buy any weapons or anything, which is really annoying. Let's do an X-Strike. Boom. Get him. Yeah, I'm sorry guys that I've really kind of fallen off the bandwagon lately, but I fully intend to continue doing, you know, my series and everything. It's just, it's been one of those things where life's been busy, you know? Are you unharmed? I must say I'm impressed with your prowess in battle. You would make fine recruits for the knighthood. Yeah, not interested. I see, how unfortunate. Very well, I shall return to the village ahead of you. Try not to be too tardy. All right, let's go. Ugh, what's, what's with her? Come on, let's go. There's gonna be a banquet, right? Hmm. A banquet of blood. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I'm curious. I was looking this up. Apparently this game isn't very long. My estimate is that this game is gonna be, um... About 40 parts, so... In theory, we're already halfway there, but I'm not so sure. I didn't, I didn't l read enough about it to spoil things, but uh, I did like, I do have like a vague idea of like where the next areas are, like at least what they're called, and um, we are, like we're definitely over halfway there, which is pretty interesting. I guess it's kind of a short game. I don't know, or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, but it, that seemed to be the case when I was looking it up. Back to Royberg. Here we go. Hey look, there's a big fire over there. They must be getting our banquet ready. Uh... Are you fishing for sympathy? We can't help fighting the monsters. Yes, I know. I understand that. I know it's not that easy. If everything could be solved by thing, talking things through, then the sacrificial pilgrimage wouldn't have gone on this long. But still, I believe that we can change things on this journey. We're not really going to go to a banquet, are we? Um, let's look for a guide. Let's hurry up. I don't know. Let's look for a guide. You're right. We need to find someone to take us across the ice and get out of here. What? So we're not going to the banquet after all? No, please. Go ahead. Take your time. You're scaring me, Eterna. Come on, I was only kidding. Let's all go and look. We must be able to find someone who can help us get across the Floyberg waters. Okay, so what are we doing here? I see a fire. Hmm. Huh? What are they doing? A knight must never turn his back on a monster, no matter, no matter the circumstances. You m must remember this always. Unless our hearts are as one, our kingdom shall never be restored. Yet despite this, in our last battle against the monsters, these two young knights attempted to turn tail and flee. Not only is this unbefitting conduct for a knight, it is an impediment to our kingdom's restoration. Thus, in the glorious and honorable name of our kingdom, I, Julianne, Hereby sentence these two men to death. Jesus Christ. Seems a little fucking harsh. A uh, finely chiseled knight. Please wait, we didn't try to turn tail. We had no choice but to turn our backs on the monsters to aid a child who had failed to escape. Silence! Enough of your feeble excuses. Why, Lady Julianne? Before you would command us to always pri prioritize human life over combat. So why? Why do you now lust for violence so? Do you take pleasure in doing battle with the monsters? 
Not only are you blind in your failings, but you attempt to turn the blame onto me. Despicable. Simply inexcusable. Whoa, whoa, come on. Is this your idea of a banquet, lady? This is crazy. Aha! It is the heroes who saved our village. Is something wrong? <laughs> we want to cross the ice. I'm going to say that. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. Nice, Ender. Only you would have the courage to completely ignore the mood like that. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> ah, yes. Wait here for a moment. The people of the village look up to you so much. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you trying to... Excuse me. <laughs> we want to cross the ice. That was great. Why are you trying to kill the very people you are supposed to be protecting? We must protect the lives of those who will create the future. Ha! You are, you are to lecture me on the preciousness of life, are you? You travelers, judging by your performance in battle and the tone you now take, it would appear you are not in fact mere travelers at all. What noble cause is this journey of yours in aid of, pray tell? The future of this land and the lives of everyone in it, that's what's in aid of. The future of this land and the lives of everyone in it, I see. I had my suspicions, but now it is certain. You are the sacrifice and her party, are you not? Whoa, oh shit. Be gone. Ah! Kerr! Oh no, Kerr. Why? Why is the sacrifice alive? What the fuck? Plot twist. Lady Julianne, please control yourself. I mean, quickly, carry your highness out inside at once. Jesus Christ. Kerr, are you alright? You're not injured, are you? Ugh, I'm done for. God, I'll never make it. If you got that much energy left, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> hey, right at the last minute moment, I used magical energy to soften the blow, you know? Any regular person would have been lucky to get away with their life. Anyway, what the hell happened to Julianne just now? Forget about her. If we're going to leave here, let's do it now. We do still need someone to show us across the Floyberg waters, though. Why don't we take a look around just in case? Or another look around. Who the hell are we gonna find? I'm in the old kingdom. There were people known as minstrels, great men who put tales uh, to song or something. I must have directly descended from those noble wordsmiths. These dis Distinguished men of song. The problem is, her highness is simply not herself lately. It really doesn't make a very good song. Yeah, no kidding. She's probably, like, not her or something. Flat nosed little boy. My dad's the third strongest the whole night. You're pretty impressive, huh? I bet you lost for words. Be more impressive if he was, like, the first strongest, you know? Who's this person? Lilith? Yes, what is it? Uh, we've met you somewhere before. You're that guy Julian knocked out cold, ain't you? Yes, that's me. Um, would you please tell us a little about Julianne? I get the feeling she isn't her normal self right now. So, so you can tell, um, where should I begin? When we first got here, you were arguing with Julianne, right? What was that about? What was the day she changed? How about that? I remember it vividly. One day, when out slaying monsters, she ended up stranded. Stranded? Word reached the village that she and her... Excuse me, oh. This is what happens when I record at like 1.30. Word reached the village that she and her companions had been caught up in an avalanche. Uh-oh. Julian should have been alright, but she went back for a lone knight who failed to get away in time. There was a fierce blizzard, and eventually we gave up all hope that she could have survived. But then one day, a month or so later, Julianne returned to the village alone. Most people rejoiced and called it a miracle, but some were puzzled. Thinking about it logically, survival should have been impossible. All I know is that ever since that day, Julianne has changed. Sometimes she is so cruel and ruthless that I cannot 
even believe it is her. But everything she does, she does for the sake of the people. At least, that is what I thought. So what, what did you mean about Julianne asking you for help? Julianne came to me with a request. She said that if she were to ever turn her blade against an innocent person, if that ever happened, then she wanted me to lock her away somewhere far away from anyone, or everyone, or anyone, whatever it was. Lock her away? That's a pretty odd thing to ask someone to do, ain't it? Something is happening to Julianne. I was worried, so I talked it over with the man from the Magic Consortium here in our village. He said it may be possible to return her to her old self, but to do so, I need a certain medicine. So buy it for her. He will not sell it to me. He says he would only give it to me in exchange for a Sprit Knight stone carried by a certain monster. Defeat the monster, then. I'm not strong like you. Please, help Julianne, I beg of you. We'd love to help you, kid, but well, you know. All right, we'll do it. I mean, all right, we'll do it. What? Come on. But we, too, have a condition. A condition? If we get the medicine in exchange for the Sprit Knight, you'll help us get across the Floberg waters. How about that? Huh? Really? All I need to do is help you across? You better keep your word. Of course, I promise. You think he's really up to it? <sighs> thank you, thank you. Come, let us talk to the person from the Magic Consortium and find out the details. Alright, let's go. It's gonna be a bit longer part for you folks since it's been a while. Um, where the hell is the consortium is my question. Down here, maybe? It's my guess. Hmm. Did you want something? Oh, it's you again. You want to save her, right? It's like I told you last time, pal. You need to bring me the Sprit Knight. So are you up to it or not? Uh, don't worry about that. Oh, hired some help, have you? I hope you won't let me down then. Very well, if you pull it off, I'll mix some medicine up special, especially. There's just one condition. I'll only do an exchange for a Mad Madara Sprit Knight. A, Mad a Madara Sprit Knight? They can only be obtained from the body of a certain monster. So you want us to defeat the monster and bring back that Sprit Knight stone, right? Exactly. I see. I see. Nice and simple. What illness has she got? It's not even what you call an illness, but she's in a very dangerous condition. But, but... Her magical energy isn't like that of a normal person. What do you mean? Magical energy flows through all living things in the world, some much more than others, of course. And magical energy has one fixed rule, too. What rule is that? One person can only possess one type of magical energy. Just like blood types, everyone has one, right? Right, yeah, you can use Sprit Knight to temporarily change magical energy, though. Anyway, for some reason, I can definitely sense two types of energy from her. Is that possible? No, not normally, but something strange is happening inside her. I can't even imagine what could have caused it, though. I've been watching her, and she's getting worse by the day. I think she might have been lost control. She might have even lost control of her own will by now. You've been watching her. Is that how you get your kicks? Oh, <laughs> huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep yawning. <laughs> Kerr. That's how you get kicks. Well, I'm running a business here. Doing people favors won't help put dinner on the table, right? Anyway, we need to hurry, don't we? Please, I beg of you. Please save Julianne. Once we do, you'll be our, our guide. Of course, I shall give it my absolute utmost. Don't worry, you can count on us. Thank you, thank you. So all we need to do is go back to the Floberg waters and defeat this monster, right? We need to defeat a monster called a Scarly. How long it takes you to find the Sprit Knight will depend on your luck. Well, don't give up. Scarly? Okay, can we sell stuff here? Let's see, what Sprit Knight do I have? Um... Like, what the hell does he want, you know? Obtain Sprit Knight, okay. I have 36 gil still. Like, what the hell? Let's see what I can sell, I guess. 
inventory. Okay, um... God, let's see, uh... Yeah, I don't even know. Um, let's listen to his advice. Okay, blah, blah, blah. A Scarly, okay. What the fuck was that? What'd he say? Please, I beg of you, if you can just get a Med Madara Sprint Knight. You guys saw that, right? Was that a glitch? Madara Sprit Knight, let's see. Yeah, I don't have it. That definitely glitched. That was weird. I can't wait to see the playback of that. That was strange. Like, the dialogue was a glitch. That's really, really weird. <laughs> Pretty weird. Woohoo! Those bath scare baths are me, and I am... These baths. Right now, you are in fact inside my very being. This room is filled with the beads of sweat from my body. What the fuck? Like a nice hot steam bath. The secret to a long life, I say. Okay, whatever. Alright. So, um, we obviously have to go back and, um... We gotta find a Scarly and obtain that Sprit Knight so we can, uh... Hopefully... Fi like, fix Julianne here and, uh... At the same time try to cross the ice so we can go to the last lands so we'll see what we do um first i'm going to save let's see real quick i can't believe i have like 36 gil that's terrible or gold or whatever it is like what the hell i gotta figure out how i can get some more gil i guess but uh yeah i think for now we're gonna save and we will do all that stuff that i mentioned next time i'll see you guys then Peace.